welcome to take your time this is swamijit das this will be a big topic to discuss through this we will discuss flow api and integration of them with room database along with it we will also look into coroutines view model scope dagger multi bindings and list adapter in this project what we will achieve is using coroutines and retrofit suspend functions we will hit an api get the data and store it in room database and using flow api we will show the data in ui as soon as the database is updated so basically this will be a video series and this video is the part 1 of the whole topic in this video we will discuss setting up dagger multi binding view model and view state next one will have coroutines and the third one will have room database and integration of flow api in this project I will share the GitHub link in comment. Please find it there. And finally, if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please do so and hit the no notification bell so that you can never miss an update. So, let's get started. So, the first thing that we will discuss is the build gradle of the file so if i open the build gradle file you will see that there are few dependencies that i have added only for this project and i will mostly highlight the important ones so if you see this one which i just highlighted life cycle view model ktx this is added for view model scope and the usage of this will be when we will use coroutines and we will see in some time probably in the next video if you noticed that the retrofit version that i have used is 2.7.1 and it's updated because we will be using coroutines and support of suspend function in retrofit is available in 2.6.0 and beyond and also we will use list adapter which is part of android x recycler view itself okay so that was the basic build gradle things that we needed to cover now let's just quickly jump to dagger setup of the project so if i just open up the di folder over here you see that and before just jumping into the di i would like to tell here is dagger multi binding is used for this project and as the main focus of this project is room database along with coroutines and flow api i will not go real deep into dagger for that you can check out my dagger to multi binding video which is now shown in the cards okay still for understanding let me explain a bit so if i open the di package you see there are three different folders one is annotation one is component and one is module so if i just open the annotation i see the view model key this view model key is an annotation class which is used as key to insert view models into the view model map if you look into view model module if i just open the view model module over here we can find the usage of that view model key this is the view model key i was talking about here it is which we just seen little bit ago now we can define a view model factory also which takes the view model map and using that we can extract the view model in run, run time using the key that we have just defined so if you just want to look into the uh, practical how we have done it is you can you have to see the view model factory file which is placed inside this factory you see that this view model factory takes the view model map where we have used the view model key 
to pass view models into the map and using this create function we have to override that function and from this map we are extracting out the view models which we need in the runtime so here we also define another module which provides the required view model factory in our ui components when it is required so now what we have covered is the view model key view model module and the view model factory apart from that the normal basic dagger setup if you have previously gone through the basic dagger setup it will be easier for you to understand otherwise as i have already told you you can go through the video the separate dagger video that i have made now there are few more things like activity builder modules api module and the app module that we have to discuss so basically these modules are where you will be defining the dependencies and how dagger can create those dependency chain using one as part of another in the arguments so that it can create the dependent create create your required dependency at the runtime now after the dagger setup what we have to look here is the basic the view model structure that we have made in the project so let me just open up the uh, view model first main activity view model and along with that we have to look into the main activity view state for proper understanding so if you notice that main activity view state here it is a sealed class and it is where we define the ui states that our app will handle and what we will be doing is we will be exposing a live data of this view state in our main activity view model which will be observed by the main activity so if i just give you an uh, overview how it is done if you see that this is the main activity view states show loading show error and show data these are the basic states of our ui and using this main activity view state we will be creating a live data in our main activity view model this is what it is and we will be exposing this state to be observed by the main activity so if i just show the you show you the usage here this is what we are observing this state and what is this state this state is the live data of the sealed class that we just made now please notice here again let me just come here please notice here that show data this one and the show error this one these view states take argument in their calls which will be used to render the ui when we invoke these states what i mean to say is that these arguments for show error error is the argument and show data data is the argument so any time if we need to give uh, we need to invoke these states we need to pass the error or data to invoke this respective states and this data will go into the main activity whenever that state will be observed by the view model so uh, and basically if i again explain a bit there are these two different states we have in main activity view model one is mutable live data again if i come into here there are two state variables if you see this is one with underscore this is without underscore right and one of them if you see is private this is the one which is private and so why we have made this private all of a sudden and if you see that this state we are just this is the mutable live data which is the private and this is live data this is not mutable which is not private so what we can understand from here is we can only change the value of this variable from this class because this is private and what we are doing is we are assigning assigning the value of this state to this variable which is not private so basically we can expose this one to 
outer world or outer classes but we are not exposing this one so the so basically this addition or updation of states can only happen through this view model but it can be observed from outside but outside classes cannot change the value of this live data this state because basically your business logics will be put over here and this business logics will give call to different states so this business logics should uh, only this business logic should have the ability to update the states and others should only observe they should not have the ability to change the uh, or update the states that is why we have made it like this now if you note if i if i go into little bit deep into the view model here you see in the init block of the view model we give call to show loading this one we give call to show loading here how you give the call this state we are just posting the value show loading and then we call the call this function which is to hit the api then if you see this is the function get data then if you see uh, in the api response error and success blocks we change the state values so here is this error and this is the success success block we change the state values different state values has been put here to show different type of things to show error or to show uh, data so if you notice that these are the states that we have defined here show error and show error is called from here with the throwable which will be propagated once the api call fails or gives some sort of throwable as error and when the api call is success we get the data and we post that data from here right now in the main activity if i just go into the main activity uh, in this one what you can see is uh, we have a method initial ui state this one right here what we are doing what we are doing is here uh, basically we are making the visibility of the progress dialog that we have in our project in the main activity and the recycler view as gone and we are uh, we are uh, assigning we are initializing the adapter and we are assigning the attributes and the adapter to the recycler view right nothing else we are doing now what we can do is the major one we have to uh, understand the major thing how we have defined our project is we have this function observe view state where we are just observing the main main activity view model states which will be propagated from main activity view model which are the states of main activity view state and this is what where we are observing we are just having a when case and for every uh, possible scenario show loading show data and show error we are using the state to uh, render our UI UIs so when the state is show loading we are just calling initial UI state so all these things are done and then we call show loading what it does is it just opens up the uh, visibility of the progress circular mm, I mean the progress dialog when it is show data we just call the show data to with the data that has been uh, that is coming from the state so again if I go into this state show data state as i have mentioned it takes the data as argument so when we have launched it from the view model we have passed the data that is coming from the api response and that is what we are observing here and we are calling the show data what it does is it is just removing the progress dialog from the ui and it is putting the recycler view visibility as visible and it is submitting the list to adapter nothing else nothing fancy now again one thing we can uh, uh, we can discuss is we used here list adapter instead of normal recycler view adapters in this project now if you are not aware of list adapter or if you want me to create a video on that topic please feel free to comment about that one if i feel that i need to create one i will definitely create one for you guys now that's it from a from this project setup point of view now in the next video we will discuss coroutines 
what we have already in our view model and the view model scope that you see here and how we can we have integrated the apis and further we will run the app for the first time and see how the ui looks further down the line in the third video we will integrate flow api and room database and implement ui rendering as soon as we insert data in the room database so what we are currently doing is we are hitting the api and from the api data we are showing the ui but what we will achieve at the end of the series is we will hit the api we will insert the data into the database and we will observe the database changes using flow api and render the ui from there so stay tuned thanks and see you in the next video bye